We have to stop putting up with any sort of shit. Hello you guys, welcome to a new video. It is currently, what time is it? I have no idea. 11.20 and we are going to Vancouver today. If you guys didn't know, I just live outside of the city of Vancouver. So we're going to the city today because Joel wants to buy a skateboard. So we're gonna do that. It's pretty far of a drive. So it's gonna take up a good portion of the day. I made a at-home Starbucks and put it in this cup that I had like previously bought. So it makes me look and feel like I'm drinking a Starbucks, <laughs> but for not, seven dollars um so yeah that's what we're gonna do today i'm kind of scared this is like gonna make me take a shit so hopefully i can yeah, i can last the ride but yeah that's what we're doing right now and i'll keep you guys updated what kind of skateboard you'll get if you guys are curious Hey guys, so we just got to the skate shop. Joel is in there because of like the COVID rules. He can only be in there right now. So I'm just waiting in the car, literally parked on the side of the street. And I just like, I don't know why I hate waiting in the car alone when I'm just on the side of the street. Like if I was in the parking lot, it'd be chill. But like there's just people are walking by and then these group of guys were walking by me and they were just like all staring in and I didn't know what to do. I was just like so awkward. But yeah, the skateboard shop is literally like in the middle of Chinatown in Vancouver, which is kind of cool because I never come here. So it's kind of cool. But I just hate how people are just like walking by and staring like can you not stare? Thank you. Okay, update. Um, I've been waiting for a little bit now and I really got to go pee, but I refuse to leave the car. I literally just like don't feel comfortable walking around alone sometimes and I just don't feel comfortable vibes right now so I'm not gonna leave the car and go pee I'm gonna stay in here until Joel comes back oh god there's a parking meter guy right there oh god they're getting in a fight over here they're fighting because I think he ran out of time on his parking meter and that guy was about to give him a ticket but he's fighting dude when I'm like in my car alone I'm like pressing on the lock button like I'm always so scared that it's unlocked oh they got a skateboard too oh, that's so funny Anyways, I think I'm just gonna answer, do some emails. I have like a lot of data. When I got my new phone, my mom like upgraded our data. So I have a lot of data so I can do whatever on my phone, which is really nice. So I'm gonna answer some emails and watch some YouTube videos. Also, okay. <laughs> I got this email last night. Let me read it to you. Yes, this was an email on my business email. Hi, I love your YouTube videos. Do you make and sell custom videos? Thanks. So when I first read that, I was like, what is, what do they mean by custom videos? And then I read like the email and the emails from teen bikini models, one, two, three, four. Oh, so that's freaking awesome. I mean, I get those kind of weird emails in my DMs, usually like on Instagram, but I've never gotten one to my business email before. So I'm gonna report that. Oh, that guy that I'm off, that's so nice. Didn't get a ticket. I feel like my, the time is gonna expire. I gotta add more coins. Don't play, but I gotta go pee. Yeah, in 10 minutes, I gotta add more money. This guy has like a whole filming rig set up, which is kind of interesting. Look at him. I don't know what he's filming though, but kind of cool. This is my surrounding areas right now. It's actually kind of nice here. Oh, there's a guy sweeping right outside my window. It's awkward. There he is. <laughs> Finally, after one hour, one hour later. Got the new board, what can I say? An hour later. Well, I mean, they had to build it for me. Well, they're all separate pieces. They had to put them together. I had to choose every piece. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, what, what Look how that? sick that is. What is that? That guy from the movie who just kills people. That is so creepy. I got him to cut the grip tape, so it's his death. That is scary, Joel. Okay, let's go home because I gotta pee. I've been waiting for over an hour. I just renewed the parking, so I just paid for parking again. You did? I, yeah, I did. I got a piss and I just felt so uncomfortable. There was a group of guys that walked by me and they were like, and they were all pointing at me and everyone started looking and it was so awkward. I totally forgot I had to do an appointment at five. Are you gonna cancel it? We gotta go to Garden Works to get the tree. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Okay, we're gonna drive to Garden Works. We'll see you guys there. And I gotta go pee so they better have a bathroom. Let's go! Okay, I'm vlogging on my phone, but this is what Joel's thinking of getting. We ran into this really nice mom and she was helping us out. And she said that she really likes this. She's like, every time your mom sees it, she'll think of you. Yeah, we were looking at the orchids and she said, no orchids because uh, they're gonna die and the love between me and my mom will never die. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe that's what I should put on the cart. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, this is this is really nice. Cute. 
Oh, that actually looks really good. You only need to repot them every two years, probably. That'll last her for two years. I think that that looks really good. I, I, I like the, the beigey color. It's perfect, too. Guys, look at how cute this pot is. I've never seen a pot this small. I don't know what you would use it for, but this is so cute. It's only 89. Oh, 89 cents. Okay, we're debating, you guys. This pot, this color, bigger. or this color? This one's a bit bigger. It fits in there like... Oh, it's bigger? Like, see that? Oh, I do see the size difference. It looks better in that one, Joel. That one drowns it out too much. Yeah, I think that looks so cute. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's yeah, perfect. perfect. Skeeter in. I really like this one. Be good to people for no reason. These are so cute. Guys, look at this cute ass pink section. This water bottle is literally adorable. Look at this. It's like light pink. So cute. Okay, so I was starving and we have a half hour drive home. So I stopped to get Starbucks and I'm so sad because they discontinued their bean quinoa wrap. So I got a roasted veggie and pesto sandwich that's supposed to have cheese in it, but she took it out for me. So that's what I'm going to be eating. And I also got pretzels. I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm going to be eating this on the way home. So excited. I'm so hungry. Okay, you guys, I just got home. That was a long drive. It feels like we've been out all day. It's four o'clock now and my gym appointment is in one hour. So I think I'm going to take a tiny short nap and then go to the gym, even though I really don't feel like it we're gonna go we got a little bit of a dirt spillage in my car <laughs> okay guys i just got to the gym i um, just waiting for julia and then i'm gonna go out i honestly it's so like stormy right now it just started like downpouring rain oh julia just got here just started downpouring rain i literally just feel like cuddling up right now like i don't really feel like gymming but we're gonna do it because summer is soon so i just i gotta push myself sometimes and that's normal that's okay so yeah i'll see you guys after my workout down yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Hey guys, Michaela from the future coming at you right now. It is May 12th, therefore the giveaway has closed and I'm going to be picking the giveaway winner right now. Well, I'm not gonna be picking, it's gonna be random. So what I'm gonna do is I have this website and it's basically like a wheel spinner. So I'm just gonna put all of your guys' Instagram handles in the spinny wheel thing and then whoever chooses, I'm gonna message. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm so excited to get this shipped out. There was also a lot of people that entered that didn't show up on the comments. Sometimes YouTube does this where like you guys will comment and then it'll give me a notification and I'll be able to see the comment like in my notifications. But then once I click on the video and go to reply to it, it disappears. So I don't know why YouTube does that. I feel like it's just a glitch or something. But if I didn't like like or reply to your comment, I still got your entry. So don't worry. I'm gonna enter in all of the names right now. Okay, got all of your entries right here and I just gotta click the middle to spin it. I'm so excited. Also, if you guys entered and your name is not here, it's probably because I didn't get your comment or sometimes if you comment on a lot of people's videos, YouTube will like flag your account and suspend it so that it'll look like you commented on your side, but on my side, I won't get anything. So that is why if you guys entered and you don't see your name here, then that has to be the reason why. But yeah, these are all the names that I got from the comments. So ready? I just thought right. I'd bring Joel with me here because this is an exciting moment. Okay, let's show them like the screen. Okay, ready? I don't know why I'm like, I just like, this is so anticipated. Just press. <laughs> I know, it's just so, ah. Okay, okay, wait, let's, we gotta have the sound effects on. Ready? Three. Two, one, go. Oh! Hey. All right, here's the winner. Okay, 
congratulations abigail thank you so much for entering and supporting me and thank you to everyone who entered and who supports me in general thank you so much if you guys didn't win this one i'm gonna have like definitely more giveaways in the future that are gonna be international and bigger and better so stay tuned for those of course because i just like want to give back to you guys in some way just to say thank you so much for like literally keeping up with my content and watching my videos i appreciate it so 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 much so thank you to all who entered and for supporting me and leaving me such nice comments and i also love going through reading what made you guys smile today because it made me smile so okay i know this like vlog is literally all over the place but i just wanted to end the video with a little bit of a moment um with michaela because what better way to end a video let's do a little girl talk this time we have to stop putting up with any sort of shit. whoever you're in a relationship with or even your friends like anyone in your life stop putting up with their shit. Okay, don't brush it off as nothing. I find we make so many excuses for people. We try and defend them and make so many excuses for them. Like, oh no, they did this because of this and they did that because of that. And it's like, you have to stop giving them chances and stop making excuses for them and stop putting up with their shit. If there's someone in your life that is toxic, cut them out, like cut them out right now. I know it might seem hard to do in the moment, especially if it's someone that you've been with or been friends with for a long time. I know it can be so hard, but it's so important for you to evolve as a person and for you to move on and keep your positive vibes and energy going. You have to cut out those toxic ass people in your life and you can't put up with shit. You have to know that you're worth it. You're worth everything. You are so powerful. You're worth everything in the world and you shouldn't be putting up with other people's bullshit. If they have a negative energy, if they're bringing you down, if they're giving you negative vibes, if they're mistreating you, why are they still in your life? It's so important who we let into our lives because that is our precious time. People that we spend our time with, that's our precious time. And if you're spending time with someone who brings you down and who manipulates you and all of that stuff, you're giving them your precious time and it is doing you no benefit at all. It's so important to just sit down and really realize who is fulfilling your time, who is worth giving your time to because I feel like we underestimate how valuable our time is. Like, think about it. We're only here for a short amount of time. Our time is freaking valuable, okay? Think about that. Every single day, you have to look at it and you have to see the value in every single day and stop wasting your time on people relationships, um, friends, anything that is bringing you down or is just not serving you any good. Cut out that toxic boyfriend, cut out that toxic girlfriend, cut out your toxic friends. If they're not doing you any good, then they don't deserve to be in your life. I'm sorry to say it, but you have to realize how valuable and precious your time is, how valuable you are as a human being. Find your truth to that. Also, it's like the people that we ha we're always surrounded by is the people that is, are going to be almost like feeding off of our energy and we're going to be giving our energy to and you have to realize how valuable that is as well and i feel like it's just not talked about enough how our time is so valuable and precious we should only be spending it with people and doing things that we love and that is going to benefit us as well yeah so this is your sign to cut out anyone toxic in your life this is your sign to cut them out i promise you once you remove all that negativity in your life you're gonna be so much happier and you're gonna feel a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders and you're literally gonna feel like you're floating you're gonna feel so good i promise you the initial part obviously super hard but i promise you it's so worth it and don't don't put up with shit anymore like you are powerful you are worthy don't put up with anyone's shit it's time to cut out anyone toxic in your life okay it's just like why deal with toxic people when you can literally you have like the choice to remove them i believe in second chances i totally believe somebody can change like a hundred percent i believe they can but when it keeps happening and happening and happening it's just like okay there's a point where you got to stop this and be like okay now you're you're cut out of my life too negative for me in the future if that person genuinely changes and in a couple years they are a changed human being and want to come back into your life and it's not toxic anymore then that's amazing like great for them that's so awesome but regardless other than that why have any toxic people in your life why 
your, your time is so precious. You gotta hang out with people and surround yourself with pe people who are gonna challenge you and rise you up and want you to succeed, want you to be happy. You gotta surround yourself with those kind of people or else it's gonna be a lot harder for you to be happy and to succeed because all these people in your life that are toxic are gonna be literally draining your energy and sending negative vibes your way. So Joel heard this quote and it was like, the universe keeps putting you in the same situation until you learn your lesson. So if you need to cut out those toxic people in your life, you're gonna keep seeing toxic people until you like cut them out. You know what I mean by that? Just do it. I promise you, you guys will feel so much better once you cut that negative toxicity out of your life. And I love you guys so much, okay? Thank you so much to everybody who watches my videos. I appreciate you so much and who just listened to me rant like that. I just wanna motivate you guys and see everybody in this world be happy. And I just want everyone to thrive together. Yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry, it was like really random, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Eat my booties. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling when you tore down my walls. I wish I could.